All right, Brian and I are headed out to uh, my back pasture. I am really excited about this. We've got a fun video plan. Uh, so I've got, we've got a uh, half a pound of tannerite in quarter pound cans and Brian's got my AR and we're gonna have some fun. All right, we're at where we're gonna set up the first uh, can. We're gonna put the first one on a stake and shoot it and just see how big of a boom it makes. And then we're gonna uh, figure out what we're gonna do with the next one. I have an idea, but first we're gonna see how big the explosion is. All right, so Tannerite comes in two packages. One is the, uh, the granular, it's like a white bead looking thing. And then the other is a powder. And so you mix the powder with the, um, with the granular stuff and it makes it uh, explosive. On their own, they're not reactive at all, but mixed together, they're, um, they're like pressure sensitive. So when you shoot it, it blows up. So I'm gonna mix, so this, this packet is good for a uh, half a pound of tannerite, and these are each a quarter. So I'm gonna put them both in this mason jar and then mix the packet in with them. And right now they're not an explosive, but once I mix them, they will be. So, there's one, there's the other, that was a turkey, yeah I know, I are they yours, no, oh. there's a lady up there who has some, alright, so there's the, the gray powder, this actually isn't coming out too well. I might just rip the package. I think that's all of it. All right, now I'm gonna mix it up. It stress me out. <laughs> it, so it's a fairly, um, it's a fairly like non-reactive, or it's, it's, it's not very, that, it's not very sensitive. Um, you actually like, like you can't shoot it with a 22. It has to be like a rifle with some good velocity to it, um, to get it to actually blow up. So like shaking it around and stuff, you should be fine. Should be. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. I'm really excited for this. All right. So now that it's mixed up, I'm going to put it back into the canisters. Near the little plastic things here. Alright, there's one. And... Now I guess we can shoot the mason jar. We can't fit it all in there. No, we're not going to shoot the mason jar. Alright, I, yeah, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to fit it all in there. I'm going to shake it around a little bit and see if we can get a little more space. But we may end up just dumbing some out. All right, so there we go. They're all mixed up and they're back into the canisters. You can see they're gray now. Um, we're gonna put one back in the bucket and try to be careful with it. And the other one is gonna go right here. And we're gonna back up way over there and uh, take a shot at it. All right, we got that first one set up. We're about to shoot it. Uh, I'm gonna be behind this tree and Brian's gonna be behind a little dirt bank and uh, we're gonna give it a shot, see how big the explosion is. So he missed the first one.
And there we go. That's the first can. All right, so the reason why it took two shots is because this gun isn't actually sighted in uh, all that amazing. So I took the first shot to see where the bullet was going to hit. I saw where the leaves moved, and then I compensated on the next shot. So now I know where to shoot from now on. All right, so this is the stake that it was on. It uh, isn't too impressive, but it did blow the back side off of it. So for the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to take a hole saw and uh, drill a hole in a tree. And then we're going to put the uh, can, the second can tannerite in it and see if we can blow up the base of a tree. All right, so this is the tree that we're going to drill a hole in. We've got hole saw. Um, this is a tree that we're going to take out anyway, so we might as well blow it up. This is gonna this is gonna be cool. Um, yeah, so the the explosion over there wasn't it wasn't quite as big as I was uh, really expecting. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot because why the hell not? So here we go. All right, the battery died on the drill, so. We went back to get a different battery and that battery was just barely put on the charger. So I don't know how much juice we're gonna have, but if we don't have any uh, power in the drill, we also grabbed a hand auger and I grabbed a chainsaw. So we're gonna make it work. All right, we finally got the hole drilled out in this birch tree. So the can of tannerite slips right in there. And we're gonna back up to where we were on the first one and uh, shoot this one. All right, the tannerite is down in that birch tree. Ooh, and uh, we got it all set up and then we realized that the um, because of the way, the direction that we drilled into the tree, it might um, shoot stuff back out exactly to where we were sitting. So we're gonna set up over here. We're gonna be on the stone wall or right behind the stone wall. And uh, I'm gonna shoot from there. You ready to go? Yep. All right, so it didn't tip the tree over like we were hoping, but it actually split the tree right down the middle. You can see right here. Um, it split all the way down through and it blew the front side off so that's pretty cool it's not quite what we were hoping but that's not too bad um oh, you can they put a nice crack up through the back of it oh yeah well the tannerite didn't take the tree down so we're gonna take it down with a shotgun So we've got one can of tannerite left, and uh, we haven't decided what we're going to do with it. So we're putting it up, up to you guys. You guys get to decide. So throw it down in the comments what you'd like to see us do with it, um, what you'd like to see us blow up, or anything like that. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, share. Definitely share the video. We, uh, the more people that see it, the more views we get, the more subscribers we get, the quicker we can grow our channel. And... Uh, get better content to you guys so thanks for watching